everyone, Emily here. Today we're going to be taking a look at all of the live footage from my recent game hunt video which I filmed a couple of days ago and we're going to go through all of that and the goodies that we found at op shops which is thrift stores over here in Australia and cash converters. And if you are new here definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because a whopping 70% of you guys haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel so definitely subscribe now. So stay tuned we're going to take a look at everything that we picked up. So, a full duffel bag, that's what I like to see. Now all of this in this bag cost $28 uh, and I think there was some fantastic deals. So I went to a particular op shop. This one is in Brisbane and uh, they have fantastic prices in this particular store. It's pretty cool, <clears throat> little op shop. There's a logo, so it's all like very Australian stuff. It's $2 on that, it's pretty good. Now everything you'll find um, from clothing, bric-a-brac and stuff like that is all at a really competitive price. Uh, all of their DVDs, games, Blu-rays are all a dollar each. Uh, normally when I go there I tend to give the girls um, or people behind the counter the ladies there a little bit extra for um, the pricing that they put on a lot of things I've been lucky in this store before to actually uh, walk in there and they had um, trolleys full of stuff that was region 1 DVDs and they wanted to get rid of them for um, $5 a bag so uh, I think I took two bags but I gave them a $20 donation so that was a pretty good one time that I went in there but I ended up picking up all of these things and as you can see from the video there's quite a lot of DVDs and stuff in there Ooh, batteries not included um i toy sports play so there's only one game there Ooh, Beverly Hills Chihuahua Disney movie Ooh, Buzz. Tropic Thunder, I don't have that. I've been wanting that. What's that? Ooh, UFC. Any oh. good one. Grown up Blu-ray. There's another Sonic. Oh, let's see. Key pack. Now walking away from that store, I ended up paying $28 for all of the items that you see right now and I think that was actually pretty good. Uh, I had to be quick in there which uh, wasn't always ideal because I'm pretty sure I probably missed something out. Some more um, games hidden amongst them but yeah, short circuit, short circuit is a must, I've just seen that there. What else have we got? Oh, classic. But uh, I ended up picking up UFC uh, The Undisputed 3, which looks cool. Robin Hood on the Disney movie. Uh, Sonic X, the cartoon. Uh, not all the volumes, but most of them are there. Friday After Next, I picked that up. I already have that on DVD, but my version's very scratched, so uh, this disc was a little bit better. Lassie, Home on the Range, Freddy Got Fingered, Superbad, uh, My Baby's Daddy. I always try and find weird movies that I haven't heard of before, so I'm looking forward to seeing what that is. Biodome, uh, Buzz the Hollywood Quiz, Short Circuit, absolute classic. Uh, Futurama, Bender's Game, 
uh, Tropic Thunder, Eddie Murphy Raw, K Packs. There's an Enter the Dragon, Romeo Must Die, and Showdown in Little Tokyo three pack. And uh, there's a George Michael one there too, but I probably will gift that to my mum. <laughs> but then I ended up finding not only some Blu rays, but they are in like new condition. So I don't have the whole set yet of Harry Potter, but this is definitely an upgrade from my DVD version. So I'm very happy to have uh, those. They were all a dollar each. It was so good. But here are the kickers. Uh, so from that particular store, as I said, a dollar each, I ended up picking up these games. So this is uh, The Jewel of Casanova, The Black Rose. Um, sorry for the lighting. This game is sealed, actually. Uh, brand new sealed. So uh, yeah, I think that's really, really cool. It's original pricing from being marked down back in the day. It does say $1.95 from Harvey Norman, which Harvey Norman is a chain store here um, that sell white goods and games and uh, TVs and stuff like that. So yeah, this is uh, pretty cool to have it uh, uh, all sealed up. Then there was um, the Banner Saga collector's edition another pc game i haven't played this one before it uh yeah it looks pretty cool pretty neat i like the art style on the front of this cover so we'll definitely take a look at that one as well but this game i almost left without uh picking this up and it is new york uh new york race so inspired by the fifth element this game looks absolutely so cool uh i love the fifth element so much and uh yeah this this looks cool if you've heard of this game before definitely let me know i had never heard of it until two days ago um and it is brand new sealed so uh let me know let me know if you've heard of that one. Now, while in the area, I do tend to try and stop at any of the other op shops that are around, and I did pop into another one, and the pricing sometimes is just, I have to say, ridiculous. I don't know if you have this same issue in other countries, uh, but you know, I was able to check out that they had a couple of PS2 games and Little Big Planet on the PS3, and as it turns out, they wanted $9 for that game, and although it was really tidy and really clean, it's not something that I believe is worth $9 anywhere. Um, I think you can pick it up at EB Games and like a four for $20 sale when they have them um, in their bargain bin sort of thing. So I definitely think that uh, it goes to show that even though I had some really good luck at the op shop previously uh, to this one, it just goes to show that you can't um, get a bargain everywhere that you go. So on to the next one. And uh, going through all of the CDs and stuff like that, I always try to find PS1 games. Uh, I know that a lot of people have had luck before. Uh, I do tend to have, I have had luck before myself uh, with finding a PS1 game in the CD section. So it's why I just, I always look. Don't forget to always look. But as I was going through a lot of the kids section in the next op shop that we ended up going to, um, there was a few things that were sort of overpriced and the DVDs were pretty expensive and nothing that I was actually after. But I luckily enough was able to find a copy of The Sims. Now, this particular version, I haven't found, uh, seen this one in the you know jewel case before actually. So it does have a cracked case. The disc's in reasonably good condition. It's not a game that I actually really, really like. I, I'm not very much a Sims person, but uh, it's only cost a dollar uh, and I'm working on my PC collection. So as I'm starting to collect more PC games, if I'm going to get them for a dollar, um, you know, I think I'd be silly to leave that on the shelf. Uh, so yeah, I ended up picking up Sims for a dollar at the other op shop. So off to the next op shop and uh, they've got quite a number of CDs and DVDs and it's always good to go through their different CDs and stuff in this particular one. You never know, my luck might change today. I've got my lucky shoes on. Overlane 4, what? 
still got a lot of the same ones that they had last time. CDs. Yeah, I got lucky just before with PC gaming CDs, so I always tend to look because obviously you can get lucky and find PS1 games. <gasps> oh my god, I only had this on cassette. Oh. CDs, a lot of them are the original press and I really like that because uh, they're sort of the older version of the CD. Um, I don't know, I just seem to go towards collecting those if I come across them. Uh, and unfortunately, this particular game hunt, there was no hiding PS1 games in the section. Uh, there was no real DVDs that were of any uh, value that I thought I would like to add either when paying $2 a piece for them. I went through the kids section quite a lot though and I was able to find a couple of things that I thought was worthwhile picking up uh, and one of which was uh, the original motion soundtrack for The Little Mermaid. I do have this on cassette. Um, this one is from well, it's so old it doesn't have a date on the back, but uh, this one I wanted to definitely pick up. Uh, so yeah, if you're a fan of any of the Disney stuff, as you guys know, I am a huge Walt Disney fan, so I had to pick that one up. But I also went through the kids section and a lot of them were absolutely hammered. Uh, so you'll find that you'll look for kids DVDs and they're going to be in really poor condition. Uh, but I ended up picking up Milo and Otis, so this is obviously a childhood classic uh, and I ended up, yeah, picking this one up as well. Now, two of the last op shops that we ended up heading into, one of which uh, had quite a number of DVDs and a small selection of video games when you walk into the store. Uh, now, luckily enough, a few weeks ago when I went there, uh, I was able to pick up quite a few different titles, which wasn't on film, uh, but they still had sort of the same ones left there and they were ranging from $2 to $5 a game. And they were, wasn't anything that I was particularly after and they had uh, quite a number of DVDs at the back of the store and unfortunately, there was nothing in that particular lot that I was really looking for either. Uh, so even though there were some quality titles there, they were ones that I already had. But I did end up uh, going into one of the smaller op shops. Now they only had a limit of like three people per store for their store because it's actually quite small. And when I ended up walking in there, I found like one really amazing deal and then uh, one deal that I just couldn't say no to because I didn't have the movies. So I'll start with the first one. Uh, so not on film, but they had DVDs uh, there at the back of the store and I'd say they only had about 45 DVDs and they had discounted them from $2 to $1 each. And uh, they did this three pack. I did ask if they wanted any more. They said, no, they didn't. They were just trying to uh, move the DVDs. Uh, so they did this three pack for $1. But this movie is actually quite valuable here in Australia. I don't know if that's the case anywhere else in the world, so definitely hit the comment section and let me know. But it's Tenacious D, The Pick of Destiny. Now this particular DVD is worth a bit over here. Like in this condition, the disc is like new. Um, I'd say it's probably like a $25, $30 DVD. Uh, so yeah, to pick that up for a dollar was really, really good. Um, we don't have this one. So yeah, it's another one that I thought was really, really cool uh, to pick up. But next, we're off to cash converters. So you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. We ended up heading to cash converters and boy, I'm glad I did. There was so many good deals to be had. Upon walking in, I did go and check out the normal glass cabinets in those in most cash converters stores. Uh, now, cash converters is a pawn shop here in Australia for those of you around the world. And you will have noticed if you've been watching my game hunt videos that I do tend to go and uh, flock towards those stores. Sometimes they're overpriced, yes, but sometimes, like today, you uh, like my. <laughs> I just got lucky. I really did just get lucky. Um, I found some Ripper titles uh, on the shelves. So they obviously had rotated some of their stock. It was in different uh, spots than it was probably from one of my other game hunt videos from a few months ago. Uh, they had quite a number of like new condition DVDs and Blu rays. 
and they had quite a number of uh, you know duplicate copies of Wii and stuff like that which are really good for trade value uh, so they have good resale value as well for you guys but I ended up going through the Xbox 360 section and I'm so glad that I did Going through the Xbox 360 section was definitely the highlight for me. Uh, I'm working on that collection. A lot of people ask me often, where is my Xbox collection? It's currently down there and it is growing. It's nearly a whole length of a shelf. So uh, I absolutely do love the Xbox. I love exclusives. I love all consoles, uh, but I'm so happy that I ended up finding some really great deals on games uh, so I can play them on my uh, Xbox One. So uh, in amongst all of those titles, I ended up picking up the Devil May Cry HD collection. That was $3. Hopefully the discs are in great condition. What are the odds of that? Ninja Garden, Z. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get that too. All right, oh, The Witcher 2. Oh my God. Yes, the crate. case is cracked, but I'm definitely gonna get those. Um, as you guys know, I am working on my Xbox uh, 360 collection at the moment. Um, so yeah, $3 a game I think is um, very, very good. So all of these Xbox games, uh, as I said, are going to be $3. Um, so I still can't believe it. There was Damnation. The Witcher 2. Now this particular one is the Enhanced Edition and it comes complete. It has uh, everything in it. Uh, the case is cracked but I have a few um, spare Xbox 360 cases that are in really good condition so I'm just going to switch that over. And uh, yeah, this game uh, is an absolute ripper for that price. So I paid $3 for this and uh, it's got quite a lot of um, value. So. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy to add such a valuable game for such a cheap price into the video game collection. And uh, that's one of my recommendations uh, when building your collection, everyone. Um, I have really spent bugger all on my video game collection. I try to find games anywhere between 50 cents and um, $3, sometimes $2. As you guys have seen from all of my game hunt videos, including Japan, I definitely try and hunt around for those bargains. So there's obviously always value there. Next was Kane and Lynch. I ended up picking uh, this one up. This is the second one, Dog Days. Lollipop Chainsaw. This is absolutely one of the best games, most fun. I enjoy it. It's not too serious. It's so much fun. Uh, so I'm really uh, happy to be able to have added this to the collection. I have it on PS3, but uh, if I love a game so much, which you guys know, I will go and collect all the different variants of it. So for $3, it was coming home with me. I think it's pronounced Yaiba. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Z. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this game's about. I didn't take a look at it uh, online or anything before I picked it up. I normally do have a little bit of a look at games to make sure uh, that I want to pick them up, but for $3 in really good condition, I wasn't going to leave this one there too. And just a, one good fun one for when friends come over, Dance Central 2. Now on the other side of the shelf was the PlayStation 2 and it took me a minute to find it. I just didn't, I got a bit overwhelmed by all the goodness of the Xbox 360 stuff, but I did end up checking out what PS3 titles they ended up having. And even though my PS3 collection's pretty big, uh, I just wanted to grab a couple of games that were really great prices uh, for what the games are. So there's a Family Guy Back to the Multiverse. This one actually ended up being $2. Uh, and it's complete, really good condition disc as well. Uh, I didn't have this one and I'm a huge fan of Family Guy so I wanted to make sure I added this to the collection. Then of course I was going to add another Metal Gear. So this is Metal Gear 4 Guns of the Patriots. Uh, I believe Retro Gamer Guy has a different version to this one, maybe a different cover, um, but it was $2. It doesn't have the manual, but I thought I'm definitely gonna pick that up uh, for $2. That's a absolute great game for a $2 price tag. 
And then lastly, Monopoly on the PS2. Uh, surprisingly, I don't have this. Uh, I have the PS1 version, so I thought I'm definitely gonna get this because this is good fun when people come over. Now again, I always go through the DVDs and they had quite a few cool ones to obviously pick up and I'll just quickly jot through them now. So there was obviously Moonstruck that I grabbed, the Three Amigos, if you guys have seen that one before. They had um, three different Pokemon ones, uh, so I ended up picking up all of those, but they had Pokemon Forever on DVD and uh, this is the old ratings. So they have an old style rating here in Australia, which I prefer than the new ratings. So the new ratings are actually quite big and here in Australia, uh, when you some of the video game covers are actually uh, quite covered by our rating system so I try and collect the older DVDs because I don't have that on there um, then uh, there was Jumanji and uh, Zathura as a double pack they were all a dollar each and then I ended up picking up these blu-rays and now these blu-rays were just three dollars each so this is the classic dumb and dumber uh, it's so funny and also the movie chef I definitely love that movie but the outstanding stuff was definitely these games from Cash Converters, uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, and obviously um, The Witcher 2 were fantastic deals at $3 uh, a pop. They were great. And obviously going to that other op shop with all of those goodies and those sealed PC games. I still can't believe it. So a total uh, from this particular going out and shopping, um, I spent $40 over at Cash Converters and $28 at the op shop um, at that other one. And then I think all of those other ones, the odds and ends was about another $4 because the two DVDs were a dollar each and uh, The Sims was a dollar. So yeah, probably not a bad um, score for the for that going out. So it took me around um, four hours uh, to travel to the stores and obviously go and have a look around and I'm really glad that I took the time to go and do it. Uh, but be sure, if you're new here, to hit the subscribe and don't forget to comment and like this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.